an S65 Genie. So the problem is the boom won't go up from the platform, but he's doing it from the ground. So I'll turn it to the ground. Down is working from the ground, but let's test it from the platform. Going up, but it won't go down. Yep, it's done. So what are we gonna do? In this case, we need to check the joystick first, if it has an output. But to make it easier, we're gonna show you a trick here. It is a, on the this board, the ALC 500, there is a three some lights. They show what we can do. As you see here, that's a primary boom up. That's the down, the signal to the down valve. This one is the up and down, up valve, down valve, and the flow control, that's the FC. So we have to have, up or down, we have to have the FC light. So let's move the joystick down. I got a light. So I'm gonna try now the up function. Yeah. And the down, so we have a signal to the, yeah. As you see, the signal to the down, the, to the flow control is not the same as the, to the down valve. So, as you see, it's a little dim, it's not bright like the other one. So we're gonna have to check the, the valve output, the, I mean the current going to the valve when I push down. So I'm going to have to hook up my web GPI and go through the value. So I hooked up my laptop to the board and this port right here with a serial to USB cable so I'm gonna click on right here on connect so now it's connected if if the software of the of this unit is not installed you have to install it that's it shows you here the number you need to install so it's in this case, yeah, you have to un to make it working. You have to install this number S081 A204. That's in my case. It, each unit has a different software. It's available by the Genie website. You can download it. So let's see. Click on the application. Go to the boom. So, I'm gonna move the joystick down. Push the 
foot switch. Yeah. That's the boom up down flow. As I see, it's very low. And we need to check. We need to check the minimum and the maximum. We need just to go over here. Boom. Valve. Right here. Oh, yeah, I see here. The Let's take a look. Yeah, we need a. You see the output minimum is 62 milliamps. It's very low. We're gonna need to change it. it should be around 620. Or 620, something like this one, and the output we might leave this one low, the, the maximum output. Yeah, it's here is 11, 1170. So we might leave it like that. And as you see, the minimum fault current is. Six, uh, yeah, it's better to put this value has to be, be uh, more than this one, the minimum fault current. So let's put here 624 or 623.2. Let's change it. We can change it right here. Four, let's put four, and we click on. Now you send it and it's saved. So let's test it now. Yeah. Yep. Now it's working. Yeah, that's, that was our problem. This value was very low. And we put it right and it started working. The down now is working. All we need now is just verify the speeds and make sure everything, uh, the speeds are safe for use. And that's it. So all the time, just verify the flow, valve, value, and make it right I think this video will be helpful yeah. so let's see the light how it looks like this time yeah yep you see this Control the flow control LED. This one is now shiny more than before when I pushed it down. Yeah, yeah, yeah. Those LEDs they can give you an idea about the powers. So if you get the lights on here, you don't have to mess with the joystick or anything. Usually it's working, but if you don't get the lights, nothing turn on here. You need to check the joystick first, then go through the connection, the the wires to the board. If the wires are fine, then you might have to replace the board. So if you have an output here, if the voltage is right. Verify the wires to the board. If you don't have any output or the LED, they don't turn on. 
on each function, you need to replace the board. That's it for today. Thank you.